hello so this is a practice task in which we are going to practice how to make something like this a snowman the aim here is to learn how to or practice how to scale objects in different ways and also place them in different ways so this is the snowman i'll show you the chord view for this and in this you have to try to replicate this snowman pause your video over here try replicating this and then you can watch my work also how i have made this room it's not necessarily to exactly have the same shapes and size but the practice idea is to get something similar to this okay so now let's see how we can make this snowman so i have already moved the snowman to a side i'll move these objects also to a bit of side and let's get started so i'll start with making the body part first so i will add a mesh that is uv sphere this is a bit bigger so let me scale it a bit bigger or i will scale it twice this is good enough then the next item is the head now i you can either copy this or you could add a mesh that is uv sphere grab it on z and here i will scale it a bit okay and grab it on z again and place it here fine so i am on the front view while i am working that is keyboard shortcut 1 numeric keyboard shortcut 1 now i would want to make this cap for snowman and obviously it is known what is it it's a cone grab the cone and let's move it on top now here i will scale it a bit and again grab on z i'll keep control pressed with control pressed you can move it along with grid points okay? so here i will scale it a bit smaller grab it on z as i said it's not necessary that we need to make it exactly with these proportions so your snowman could be a small or big so if you want a bigger head you can have a bigger head grab it on z and this fine so basically as i said we are practicing scaling and all next is the eyes so for eyes we need again two small spheres so now this time i will use a different type of sphere for eyes let us say i would use this icosphere okay so let's grab this icosphere bring it here scale it so that it looks like a small i and i will copy control v control c and grab it on x so i have a copy of this now i will grab both of them grab on x and place it where i would want where i feel that they are suitable now what has happened is they have gone inside right fine so i will first roughly align them where i feel they are on x axis somewhat in the center okay now if you look at them they are outside so still they are selected fine we will go to the side view now i'll grab them on y axis and take them out now depending upon your understanding you can decide how much your eyes of snowman should come out and all so with this eyes done now let's come to the next is the nose so obviously for nose it is a cone so i will copy this cone control c control v grab on x bring this cone here now we'll scale this cone so i think that is enough of small nose but the nose if you see is bit flattened so let us scale it on x axis like this so play around with the nose and then grab the nose and first locate where you think it is suitable come to the front view grab it and let us say on x axis and let's place the nose wherever we find it suitable now if you look at it this nose is coming out very small so i'll grab it on y axis and pull it a bit outside fine so this is the nose now what is left is the mouth 
Now mouth is this torus thing. Let's grab this. Grab this torus on x axis, bring it outside, and let's have a look at it. Scale it on, let us say, first y so that it is flat. Scale it on x, scale it on y again, and scale it on z also. I think that should be suitable. Again, as I mentioned, there's no hard and fast rule, just play around. Main is you should get some practice out of this of placing your objects by using different sides okay okay so uh, this guy looks a bit weird that one looks happier so let me just scale it on z axis make it a bit thinner scale it on x axis and make it a bit lengthier maybe his nose is too lengthy scale it on Said. Now this guy might look happier. Okay, fair enough. Now let's go and make his hands. Hands are made of cubes. So I'll take a cube, grab it on X, scale it on all the axes, let us say. So this, or let's scale it even more. Now I'll just scale it on X axis scale on x it's a four times is very small scale on x say nine times okay now let's grab and place this hand here somewhere in the center as this guy is muscular compared to the other one okay let it be so let's scale it on x 1.5 times so that the hands are outside a bit okay because it was a bit smaller so i scaled it or you could have simply said from the front view scale on x and decide how lengthy you want it now we want these hands so let's add mesh okay let's add a mesh uv sphere grab keep it somewhere near the hand scale it on all the axis let's say then scale on x to make it thinner and from this side you can scale it on y also okay as i said no hard and fast rule just about practice control c control v grab on x and here i have the other part of the hand okay just make sure they are covering the actual arm part now next is the legs so legs are made out of cylinder so let's add a cylinder grab it on z axis now we'll scale it on shift z so what happens is it will become thinner okay now let's grab and place the leg somewhere here okay now control c control v grab on x and we have another leg over here fine i think let's make it scale on z a bit so that this guy is a bit different from the other one grab on z and these grab on z so you should have some fun while doing the task also so now again we will take this let's make a copy of this control c control v grab on z grab on x i will place the leg here Control C, Control V, grab on X. So two legs are here. Are they inside? Yes, they are inside. Otherwise, adjust. Selecting both of them, adjust them. Now I'm going to scale it on Z. And now I'll scale it on which one? Y. Let's scale it on Y. Let's have a snowman with long feet. And let's grab this on Y also. Let's. Okay, so our snowman is done.